Um, so who here has not seen the Coney video? Surprise, there's that many. Okay, who's actively not watching it? Like, you don't want to see it, don't care. Okay, uh, does one of you with your hands up want to tell me why you don't want to watch it and don't care? You want, you want to go ahead? Uh, I heard some stuff that it's not completely true. Okay. Okay, um, what did you hear was false about it? Yep. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, those of you, those of you who did watch it, which is the majority of the room, um, and this goes for me. How many of you were moved by it when you watched it the first time? Like you thought, you know, I might want to do something about this. I, I absolutely was. I mean, it moved me when I watched it. Um, I know a lot of people who are. Uh, actually going to go out and do something about it. They're going to put up stickers, they're going to put up the posters, they're going to talk to people. Um, we're gonna watch the first four minutes of the Coney video just to remind you of what it is. And uh, one thing I wanna make clear here is I'm not making a statement about whether I agree with the Coney video or not. Uh, we're talking about what it does to manipulate you. I, I really debated about whether uh, we should talk about propaganda or manipulation. And every time I went and looked through the definition, propaganda is what it came back to. Um, what's that? Right now, there are more people on Facebook than there were on the planet 200 years ago. Humanity's greatest desire is to belong and connect. And now we see each other. We hear each other. Grandpa, I love you. I love you. Why, why I want to take a picture? We share what we love, and it reminds us what we all have in common. Dug out alive and well after seven and a half days. If you believe in yourself, you will know how to ride a bike. Walk in wall! So now technically your device is on. <laughs> you tell? Hello, it's exciting. And this connection is changing the way the world works. Governments are trying to keep up. Oh no, we can't test the freedom. And older generations are concerned. Many people are very concerned about tomorrow. So they could get worse next year. The game has new rules. The next 27 minutes are an experiment. But in order for it to work, you have to pay attention. person in the world started this way. He didn't choose where or when he was born. But because he's here, he matters. Yeah, we've been waiting for you. You made it. My name is Jason Russell, and this is my son, Gavin. He loves jumping on the trampoline, being a ninja, and dancing. What are you doing? Hey, this little angel. How do you do that? You do this. 
And just like his dad, he likes being in movies. Action. Look out! Look out, people! Surprise! It's a ball! And making movies. Daddy, watch this. <laughs> but he was born into a pretty complicated world. And as a dad, I want him to grow up in a better world than I did. All right. Um, so, you laughed a few times. Um, who's ready to watch? No, we're not going to watch the rest of it. But who would want to continue watching it? How many watch? How many watched it all the way through? You watched the whole half hour, okay? Uh, when I pulled this off the internet yesterday, um, almost 80 million people had watched it. Um, that's, a, that's an astonishing number of people. Um, it's uh, trending-wise, it's the most viral video, it's the most passed around, which means that people took it and they sent it on to their friends. Um, I want to take a look at what the video does to get you to the point where you're ready to watch another 10 minutes of him talking about his kid, okay? He doesn't even talk about the cause for 10 minutes into this video, into this half hour video. And it's kind of crazy, because um, at this point, it's like, I'm, I'm moved, I want to know what he's talking about. And they've done a very good job of propaganda, of uh, creating a propaganda piece in this. So. Um, I really, really want you to uh, give me some feedback on this because we're going to talk through a few things. So the first thing they put up, um, nothing is more powerful than an idea whose time has come. Can anybody tell me in what ways that is trying to manipulate your emotions? Anything at all? Yes. Want to know what the idea is? Okay. Another one over here? Yeah, you feel like you have power because I'm going to be given that. Yep, absolutely. Anyone else? Okay. Yes? It makes you feel lacking because you don't have the idea. Yet. Absolutely. It makes you feel lacking because you didn't have the idea um, or you don't have the idea. Anything else? It gives merit to the idea. It gives merit to the idea. Yep, you think it's going to change the world. Yes, absolutely. Okay, good. So you, you actually recognize this. Okay, so here's the points, and I think you covered most of them. So this is, you actually recognize it, even if you're not thinking about it. If you think about it a little bit, it's being done all the time. Um, the idea is powerful. It's not new. It's actually been around for a while. It's time has come. Okay, that's the implication there. Um, the idea has been neglected or untried. It's been around for a while, but now it's time for it. Okay? Um, neglecting the idea is bad. Okay? Um, you should do something about the idea. I want to act, okay, so tell me what I'm supposed to do. Uh, and you should do it now. Uh, so that's all that is inherent in this statement, and they get it through very, very quickly. Um, and uh, I'm susceptible to this, guilt. Um, so not everybody would respond to that with a guilt response, but to get to it of, oh, I, I ought to do something about that. This one's interesting, because uh, it's just visual. Okay, so I'm just going through this sequentially. I'm not skipping anything, all right? Um, so what, what is this conveying to you? There's, no, there's nothing being said. Okay, go ahead. It's a big idea. Okay, it's global. Anything else? What does the static mean? What is the static? I mean, this is, this is a very media savvy thing that's going on here. You see it used a lot. Okay, static. It's, you know, it, um, there was a signal that was blocked, but it's coming through. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? SOS. You just get the, the pieces of it. There's something urgent going on. This is an urgent message. Um, and if the signal is blocked, it implies that somebody is blocking it um, or you're too far away to be heard. But as becomes apparent in the video, it's the signals being blocked, okay? Um, 
So if you're, the people that are doing this are not the establishment, they're outside of the establishment. It's you're the rebels uh, in it. Um, in the visuals, the earth, it's global, it's huge, as was mentioned. Um, it's bigger than you and me. It's not something that I can do anything about. Um, the music is ominous. And this in, in putting together movies, putting together TV shows, music, it's ridiculous in putting together any kind of visual piece, how much more complete any visual piece is the second you add appropriate music. And what's a really fun experiment is to take the same visual piece, and you've probably seen these on YouTube, where somebody takes uh, some fun music and puts it behind something ominous like The Shining and makes it, you know, the, the movie The Shining and makes it a really uplifting romantic piece just by changing the tone of what's being said. They're using a very specific tone uh, in this. Right now, there are more people on Facebook than there were on the planet 200 years ago. Humanity's greatest desire is to belong and connect. And now we see each other. We hear each other. Grandpa, I love you. I love you. Why, why I want to take a picture? We share what we love, and it reminds us what we all have in common. Dug out alive and well after seven and a half days. If you believe in yourself, you will know how to ride a bike. Watch and walk. So now technically your device is on. <laughs> Can you tell? Oh, it's exciting. All right, that gets me every time. OK, that, that girl's hearing for the first time ever in 29 years. Um, OK, so what messages are going on in there? Anyone? Say that? Inspirational. OK, so they pretty specifically chose the clips to be inspirational. Um, anything else? OK, Facebook, they're making a, a big point. I'm going to skip through these because I think I'm going to run out of time, so we'll go a little bit quicker. Um, Facebook, uh, they talk about 200 million people. There's more of you connected than there were on the earth, okay? It's powerful. Um, they make this next statement, humanity's greatest desire is to belong and connect. Um, I actually believe that, but if you don't believe that, this video is gonna do nothing for you because they have so carefully curated the clips that they're showing you. Um, this, <laughs> this little kid, uh, Right now, there are more people on Facebook right than now, there were on the planet 200 years ago. If you believe in yourself, you will know how to ride a bike. Walk and walk. Humanity's greatest desire I mean, is to belong is so cute. and um, connect. It makes me laugh. And, and it now makes me, we you know, see each other. Go, if you believe in yourself, and this, we they're hear each you. other. Grandpa, you can do it. If you believe in yourself, you. you can do well, what well, we're I talking take about. A picture. It's not random that they're putting we it there. Share what and we it's love, not random that they chose a funny us clip. What we this all is a have really, really powerful thing that they're alive doing. And well is after seven and a half days. If you believe make us in laugh. yourself, you will know how to ride a bike. Walk and walk. So now technically your device is on. Can you tell? Oh, it's exciting. Okay. And it makes the emotional moment after it much, much more meaningful. I don't even know why that is. There's a whole, there's gotta be a whole psychological study on that. My wife, who is a psychologist, is nodding. Um, but man, it works like crazy. You, you're ready to buy anything with that. Um, and this connection is changing the way the world works. Governments are trying to keep up. Uh, no, we can't test the freedom. And older generations are concerned. Many people are very concerned about tomorrow. So they could get worse next year. The game has new rules. All right, um, this one's a doozy. This is great. Um, the connection is changing the way the world works. Um, so by implication, the filmmakers understand this new thing, and they can guide you. Okay, um, governments are trying to keep up. What are they saying by that? They're not what? They're not keeping up. Okay, um, they do this. They show uh, you know we want freedom. There's also the implication that the governments aren't listening. Okay, there's this whole new thing going on, and the people who are in charge of the world don't understand it. It's also that we're more powerful than 
and we're more powerful. And I'm, I'm getting to that, actually. Um, governments don't get it. And here's uh, the next statement. Older generations are concerned. That's interesting. So are they talking to the older generations with this video? Or are they talking to you? Talking to you, right? Because they wouldn't say you. They would say you if they meant everybody. Um, and the older people don't understand and they're frightened. It's not concerned. It's, they talk about global panic. Okay, so the people who are in charge don't know what's going on. They're afraid of everything. And you, the audience, the young people, you're not afraid of uh, what's going on. Come on. And See this can... connection is changing the way the world works. Governments are trying Sorry. to keep up. Uh, no, we can't test the freedom. And older generations are concerned. Many people are very concerned about tomorrow. So they could get worse next year. The game has new rules. Okay, so you get it. This is an appeal to your vanity. We are more understanding, okay? When we're younger, we think we know better than what the people who are older than us uh, know. Um, they're actually, they are sucking you in. This is a very, very effective propaganda technique that they're doing. The game has new rules. The next 27 minutes are an experiment. But in order for it to work, you have to pay attention. Okay. Is that gonna go and play more? I can't remember if I left, oh, it's at the end. Okay, so um, the game has new rules. And uh, so that's repetition, we see that. Uh, there are rules that only you guys understand. Remember the governments and the old people? They don't understand it. Okay, which means we're in an exclusive club. Does it feel good to belong? Okay, it's exclusive, but it's inclusive. It includes all of you who understand what this, with power of this thing. Um, and this one, this, this is great. The next 27 minutes are an experiment. This is an example of the guy knowing his audience. You guys are human lie detectors. You sense when I'm throwing crap at you and you reject it immediately. So this guy, if he came up and he said, I want you to listen for the next 27 minutes because I have the answer, you would immediately tune out. Wouldn't you? I would, okay. So they don't say that they're experts. And they're like you. And we just, you know, we're just trying something, come along with me. Let's discover together, okay? That's what's happening. So you are now part of the thing. You're actively included in what's going on. But in order for it to work, you have to pay attention. This is another case of the guy understanding who his audience is. You guys all have very short attention spans. I have a ten short attention span. I can barely go five minutes without looking at my iPhone, looking for a text, for an email, for a phone call, all of that stuff. And so he turns around from saying, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, and tells you what to do, okay, as a challenge. And so are you up to the challenge? That's cool. <laughs> so and then they show the static again, and there's repetition. We're rebels fighting the establishment. 